This is a short video on middle lobe collapse. This chest x-ray demonstrates loss of the right heart border due to middle lobe pathology. Now it's quite difficult sometimes to differentiate between collapse and consolidation on the PA film simply because the volume loss is not great. The lateral film shows a very thin white line which is the apposition of the horizontal and oblique fissures with this very tight middle lobe collapse. This is where the right heart border should be and the collapse is almost triangular, presumably because the angle at which the x-ray hits the interface, it's almost tangential in places. Otherwise, you just get this hazy increased density which makes the right heart border invisible. This is a classical case of middle lobe collapse. This is the CT equivalent of the same patient. It does show the wedge shape collapse of the middle lobe abutting the right heart border, therefore explaining why the right heart border is ill-defined on the PA film. The CT demonstrates that the volume within the collapsed middle lobe is greater than was seen on the chest radiograph perhaps accounting for this triangular shape. Here is a different patient where you can see hazy shadowing in the right mid zone with complete loss of the right heart border. And the lateral shows that this is a collapse of the middle lobe. Again, there's a bit more volume in this middle lobe than on the uh, previous chest radiograph. In a right middle lobe collapse, the hazy shadowing which is caused by the collapse of the middle lobe abuts the right heart border making this invisible. And on the lateral view, quite often you see a quite marked collapse of that lobe. There is a situation in which the patient may get a triangle instead of a hazy density. Both the hazy density and the triangle cause the right heart border to be invisible. And this is because, if you notice the clavicles, it suggests that the patient's in a lordotic projection. And a lordotic projection in somebody with middle lobe collapse often produces this triangular shape. And the reason for this is that in the lordotic projection, the clavicles are projected above the apices and at some point the x-ray beam is tangential to the interface and then you tend to see it on the PA chest x-ray. So this is middle lobe collapse. Middle lobe collapse is often produced by inflammatory pathology or mucus plugging and do note that volume loss is very minimal with middle lobe collapse purely because the middle lobe does not carry that much volume. 